I'm Carol Schumacher. I serve as a director for the Annette Funicello Research Fund for Neurological Diseases. We are targeting some underfunded but promising research into the cause and cure for MS as well as other neurological conditions. The neurovascular approach, now called CCSVI, is one such promising area. As we told the world in 2011, Annette herself was treated for CCSVI, or chronic cerebrospinal venous insufficiency. One year later, her family physician reported publicly that she seemed to benefit in ways he would have thought impossible. He challenged us to do the research to find out why. Despite hundreds of peer-reviewed articles being published, we still have more questions than answers in our shared understanding of what role CCSVI plays in diseases like MS. One thing is certain, we can no longer rely on 19th and 20th century descriptions of these diseases, nor can we rely on 20th century research models. Patients who are in decline and have run out of options are right to ask if the new vascular approach is right for them. They deserve real answers. An area of research that should be a collaboration between vascular specialists and neurologists has instead become the latest battle in a near century long turf war. The vascular theory recognizes that MS lesions occur largely inside veins where the blood flow is turbulent while neuroimmunology recognizes the immune response that's characteristic of MS and targets drug therapies and research dollars there. Yet too many large, independent, long-term studies demonstrate that there are no cure therapies for MS at this time. The Annette Funicello Research Fund has been collecting small donations from Annette's fans and from MS patients for many years. We've been waiting for a breakthrough discovery that's worthy of these precious research dollars. The International Society of Neurovascular Diseases, ISMBD, has regularly met over the past four years to explore the science surrounding CCSVI, even though CCSVI remains controversial. And guess what? The excitement it has generated is contagious, and it expands every year. Why? Because the long-needed collaboration is finally occurring. Newly published scientific papers reflect the new collaborative approach. Most notably, under the auspices of ISMVD, standardized protocols and criteria for the assessment of CCSVI were created over four years. More than 60 neurology, radiology, vascular surgery, and interventional radiology experts contributed to the development of these criteria for the detection of extracranial venous abnormalities which are indicative of CCSVI. The study was recently published in the Journal of Vascular and Interventional Radiology. It's hot off the press and it's free for anybody to download at isnvd.org. Next March, we'll meet in Naples, Italy and focus on four important areas. World-renowned experts have joined the collaboration. One such speaker recently said to me, the interface between the brain and the bloodstream is an incredibly complicated and largely understudied space. I'm glad that ISNBD exists to call attention to the importance of understanding the scope of the problem. The Annette Funicello Research Fund and ISNBD both understand that new treatments need to be found urgently in order to help patients who are suffering today. We are currently 
conducting a grant program in neurovascular research and will be announcing recipients this spring. We know that the standard of care for everybody can only be changed when FDA approved methods are used and when peer reviewed research has shown these new concepts to be valid. Only then can we be sure that new treatments are safe, practical, and effective. Every person involved in fundraising, grant review, and administration of the Annette Funicello Research Fund for Neurological Diseases donates their time and does their work without financial remuneration of any kind. We all want every penny to go directly to the research. This grant project is another way to say that even small donations can make a big difference. Please donate today. We appreciate your support so we may continue our work.